Alicia Salam and I will be your host for today's tutorial vlog. I was always wondering who invented the electric fan. Is it a he or a she? When was it invented? What's the difference between an older fan and a modern fan? What should I do when my fan stops working? Is it really important to maintain an electric fan? Those questions we're about to answer today. Yes, today. So, let's proceed to the first question. It was invented by scholar Scott Spiller, an American electrical engineer from New York, United States. He also invented the electrical elevator and electric fire engine. Born in May 17, 1860, and died in April 20, 1922. Cause of death is a sudden heart attack. Well, this education is Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School. Older fans were made by heavy iron or steel body, while modern fans use more plastic. As years have passed, engineers improved the electric motor and plate figuring to level up the electric fan to lessen the use of copper and steel. The first fan ever made was in the year of 1886. My other crews can save you. And how to maintain an electric fan, how to troubleshoot them. We need to start on another electric fan. Okay. It's not working. Can you please check if it's plugged in? It's plugged in. Let's buy another one. No, 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 no. Let's try to fix In troubleshooting your electric fan, the first thing you have to do is wear your personal protective equipment. Wear your coat. Wear your mask. Tie your hair so no strand of hair will distract you. Wear eye goggles and gloves. And lastly, the tools you need to use. When an electric fan is not energized, one of the ways to troubleshoot it is to check the continuity of the power cord using an ometer. First, remove the motor housing and then the blade guard and also the cover on the bottom of the fan. Put the black probe to the wire that connects the power cord to the switch and put the red probe to the main plug. If the result shows the continuity of the power cord, you no longer need to replace it. If not, replace it with a new power cord. Another way to troubleshoot it is to check the wire connection of the switch to the motor. If it is not connected properly, solder the wires from the selector switch and make sure that it is properly connected. When there is an electric shock, when the body is touched, try to physical check and look for the wire that touches the metal part of the fan. Or connect wires that might be loosened or disconnected. If the blades of the electric fan become stiff and unable to rotate but create sounds, look for the rust, dirt, and corrosion on the shaft. If you see something like that, apply 40WD for rust or use on paper. Ways on how to maintain an electric fan. First, to unlock the blade guard, use a screwdriver. Put it in a clean area. In this type of electric fan, use also a screwdriver to remove the blades. Turn counterclockwise to remove the washer. And then remove the another blade guard. Now that it is separated, you can clean your electric fan neatly. And again, turn back to its place. First, put the back part of the blade guard and then the washer. Use again a screwdriver to connect the blade. Then, connect also the blade guard using a screwdriver. Remember to always be careful on using an electric fan to last longer. Electric fans weren't invented when people may find discomfort during a hot weather. And maintaining electric fans are important because it helps us cool our homes, especially during a hot weather. 